Right, so, today, well yeah, right, anyway, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Right, I'm going to do an unboxing and little review of my new watch that I bought, which is a Shark Longfin. The model's called Sh the Longfin, but the company's called Shark. Anyway, well, I'll link that in the description, I guess. Here it is. The package came. Thank you very much, Andrew, for ordering this. And here it is. In this packet. I haven't opened the box yet. I've just opened the packet just to, to have a look at the box. At school. I've just got home, and that is the time. Okay, right. Here is the box. Probably, oh no, I don't have a ruler. I don't have a ruler. There's a ruler just for measurement. There's zero centimetres. It goes up a bit. Right. So, let's unbox this. This is my first ever unboxing video, I guess you could say. I've never, I don't, this isn't my usual video, but... See, this is an iPad. I'm recording on iPad, so it's really hard to... I have to hold... I can't open it. Oh, back in a minute. Right, so here is... I've just taken the lid off. And you get this slightly shabby cut piece of protective foam. Or you get this Shark Watch guarantee card. Pause it now. There we go. So you get that. I guess you can keep that nice and safe. Little cleaning kit, I guess this is. Yep. Need one of them for those. This is the the uh, what did you say? The manual or the the user guide. I've seen a lot of videos. You get the same. This is the same manual they put in every single model of what Shark Watch. So, and one of the videos that someone else did, it didn't actually correspond to the watch. Right. Oh yeah, you get this weird little piece of plastic, like you get on them teddies. Right, so I've just taken it out of the package in there. Sorry about the camera, it doesn't focus very well and things like that. Starting with the strap. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I like the stitching, very nice. Don't know the quality of this video. I like the holes in there as well. It, the quality of the strap, I'd say high quality, I'd say. So behind this, oh yeah, it's, it says gen. Oh, the back is leather. I can feel the back is the back's leather. I'm not sure about this front though. It might be. Let me smell it. <laughs> Sounds funny, but it's a genuine technique to test leather. Yeah, it smells like leather because that's also leather. The case to the camera. Um, okay, moving on. I like this. It's definitely not that time. I like this a lot. And this camera isn't the greatest quality, but I'll take a picture of my phone. That's a lot better quality. Um, yeah, I like this. How wide is the face? I don't know how you actually measure the face. Is it from the buckle bit or what? I'm just going to line that up there from the circ the, the glass. That's about four centimetres with the glass. And then the whole thing's about four and a half, five maybe. Okay, right. So I've set these watches, well, this watch. This one in the on the left. Is the day of the week. You can't see with this camera, you've probably seen the picture. It says seven, two, and five, and in between it obviously goes to about seven. You have to press, you have to scroll through with the crown all the way through. That's a 24, so two times is one day, two revolutions is one day. So I had to do that loads of times. And it gets... Anyway, the next one is the 24 hour. Where's my finger? Yes. <laughs> Next one at the bottom is the 24 hour, and that's you can't see in this, but obviously, in a get again, just look at the picture. So that's just a 24 hour, so at the minute that says 16, which should do. Yes, it does. <laughs> the iPad screen isn't the best quality. Um, and the last one on the right is the date, and that's the 14th, of which it is because you can see it's on this watch. So let's compare them. Right away you can feel the difference in quality with the weight, that one's really heavy. This one's sort of heavy, but light. Maybe it's just because of the chain, the uh, chain, the strap. But anyway, these, this watch is a lot better quality than this. Well, I think that actually looks better, this new Shark one, long fin. But I know for a fact it won't last as long. Even when I was turning the dials, I could feel the insides crunching away. 
the, all the like the gears already crunching up. <laughs> this is another sort of cheap one that I bought, but I like it. It's all right. Yeah, well, they are the three watches. Oh, here's the instructions. Really, not very clear at all. So that's the letdown to this shark watch. Shark, what's that say? Shark, and if I head out, <laughs> sport watch. There we go. That is the review. I know I didn't. I, don't, I can't see. I can't really find any proper reviews on YouTube. All I can find is like different languages. So this is. A sort of one of the only English reviews of it because I haven't found any more. I know this is my first ever unboxing and review of a product, but it's out there now, so I do recommend this watch. However, if you've got a lot of money and you want a watch to last, such as that one over there, Fossil 10 ATM, buy that. <laughs> This isn't really the watch for you. I just bought this because it looked nice and I wanted to have a look at this company, Shark. So yeah, there we go. That is the end of the review.